This is me, about to fight one of Bloxile's best players, and just 24 hours ago, I was completely rusty, with barely PvPing that entire week. But how did I get here? Well, this is Cobra, and he's referred to one of Bloxile's best PvPers, and just 4 days ago he challenged me to a 1v1 that would take place in 24 hours, and he thinks it's going to be an easy win for him, but here's where my plan will come in. I'm going to use the 24 hours I have and train as good as I can with another great block style PvPer, Sokka. And with Sokka's training, I can master PvP and therefore beat Cobra in his main game mode. But first, when me and Sokka logged on, he wanted to see how I PvP'd. Even though I haven't PvP'd in a week. You're just teleporting around my screen. Okay, you, you, you can like not combat right now. Okay, look. Dude, what is my thing? I messed up okay. the middle. So good. Yeah. Oh my god, dude, what am I eating? That's a bit lucky, but it's okay. I definitely struggled on the pre-1v1, and Sokka had a first tip to give, which was to adjust my sensitivity. What, what's your sense set? What's your sense set? Uh, seven sensitivity. Seven? Seven? What? Yeah. Okay, well, what's your, like, what's your, like, okay. are you 20? Like, what's your, like, Eight. Extremely hard to me. Yeah, it's like, it's hard to take a lot of games, yeah. Should I try six? <laughs> Gosh, changing my sensitivity definitely helped in PvP. And he had another thing to say, which was my FOV. When you PvP, the FOV, or as abbreviated, field of view can determine how you PvP, like this comparison of low to high FOV. With this context, let's see which FOV is the best. I'm on 130 and um, see how well it can aim. Yeah. Should we try to like change a bit, like go up a bit? Yeah, let's go 145. You're, okay, this, this, okay, this is good. Whoa! Just by changing the field of view and sensitivity, massively helped me in PvP. But before we continue to the next tip. Make sure to subscribe, we are trying to hit 8,000 subscribers, and if I hit there then I'll release my AK texture pack. But the next critique Sokka noticed was that I needed to improve on strafing, so let's do that. Uh, uh, one thing I did notice is that when you strafe, you like you barely strafe, right? Like when I'm holding Like this? Like look, this like, yeah, yeah, yeah. I did like, this, this next skill and I was like, like what, what you're doing, what I'm doing, what you should be doing, right? So. After I learned strafing better from Sokka, he had another tip, which was to W and S tap. You know the basic of S tapping? Yeah, like just like back up, basically. Yeah, it's like a W tap, but like with the pressing your S button, pressing S instead. Um, what Cobra? Does? Wow! Before Sokka taught me W and S tapping, I was a bit confused on it, but now I understand it so much better. And now we only have 20 hours left. So the next thing he wanted to teach me is knockback resetting, which I already know. But if you don't, it's basically using crouch to reduce your knockback, therefore helping you on combos. So let's see how Sokka can teach me knockback resetting. Well, I'm, I'm gonna hit you and then you put a C-tap as like, yeah. when I hit you. I know how it works. Yeah. Now, after being trained for almost 6 hours, I noticed something that I should probably focus on, which was strafing. Oh yeah, like about the strafing, I feel like that should be like another key focus, like... Like, yeah, let's go I, more I could, in depth. Yeah. Like, where you go, like, I, no one's gonna be perfect, right? So like, yeah. around like here, like, it's just stands perfectly still, okay? Yeah. And you know the, um, like, dark blue line that- After some more training on strafing, I understand it a lot better. And he also taught me some strategies in PvP. 
The next training tip Sonic will also notice is critting when the opponent is close. And when you crit your opponent closer, it's a lot easier to aim than critting them farther. There's like, yeah. they're just like staying up. They're just trying place. to PvP like this. Okay, uh, right. Let me try the crit method. Done. Now that we have about 12 hours left, Sokka taught me the final tip, which was to back crit. Yeah. I could just like somehow get very close and then go behind you and then just like, you know. Like, let's just pretend I just go behind you. After all the training Sokka has given me, he has to go because it's too late. But now, Let's just hope I can beat Cobra in the 1v1 tomorrow. Now it's the next day. That means that the 24 hours are up. And now we have to PvP Cobra first to 5. Oh no, the score is 0 to 2. But could we make a comeback? Oh, let's go. I got Cobra. Now the score is 1 to 2. But we have to keep maintaining the score. Oh, that was close. Yeah. 10 HP, he was Oh hit. no. Now Cobra is at 1 to 4. This is my final chance to make a comeback. And it's still possible. And make sure that you, like, you can need to just like, back out just for a second, right? Oh, let's go! The comeback is real. We need to maintain this. Um. No, Cobra won that 1v1 with a score of 2 to 5. To conclude the 1v1, Cobra won and GG's to him. But if you like this video, then make sure to subscribe. We are trying to hit 8,000 subscribers, and if we hit there, then I'll release my 8k texture pack, which is way better than my last texture pack. And from now, I will usually post shorts at 6.30am Pacific, or 9.30am Eastern on Saturdays. But anyways, I'll see you next week.